how have you guys learned to win without relying on the three pointer? Uh, just, just getting back to, you know, just good old Celtics basketball. You know, at the end of the day, you have to be able to defend, have to rebound. It helps a lot to have Rob back. And um, uh, defensively, but our group, I feel like our guys, we've all picked it up on that end as well. Al, the last time Warriors were back at TD Garden was game six of the NBA Finals. It just those memories of that, trying to put it aside a little bit, but how are you guys kind of approaching that with uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's the reality, but uh, I'm just looking forward for tomorrow. Should be a fun one at the Garden. Now, with uh, Malcolm, how have you kind of seen him get comfortable halfway through the season and kind of find how to control? Just uh, uh, to your point, playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, I think understanding what's asked of him. And the biggest thing is just the energy that he brings off the bench. When he comes in, the game changes. And, uh, and that's what we need from him, that that energy, that focus. And, uh, and, uh, and he's given us some really good minutes consistently. So it's been really nice to see him, you know, start to blossom this last few games. What are the things he kind of brings behind us? Just, just leadership, professional, you know, a guy's a guy that does things the right way. He's trying to win. It's very clear with the way that he plays, the way that he, you know, carries himself. Um, so, uh, you know, it's something that we did not have uh, last year. So it's just good to have a guy like that. A number of guys have said how much the loss in the finals motivates him. Um, how have you seen that change your team? I mean, I think it's just all experience. Um, uh, you know, that playoff run last year, it's a lot of experience that we were able to gain as a group. Um, you know, a lot of us have never been in that position before. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, carrying into this season, um, I feel like we started at a different level, um, understanding being in that position. So for us, it's just continuing to, you know, game to game, continue to improve. And, and tomorrow's going to be a good chance for us to, to do the same thing. You know, I, we, I feel like we handled the Charlotte series really well. And, uh, and now, obviously, this is, you know, this is a, a big challenge in front of us, but you know, we're excited about it. What were the major parts of that experience? I mean, it's just, it's just the intensity of basketball. You play in the playoffs. The, as the later rounds go on, it just picks up, and it's very evident. Um, and, uh, and it's different than regular season basketball. That's just the reality. Um, and, uh, and I feel like we've, you know, we definitely learned from all that. You guys are 17 and five at home and the Warriors are five and 17 on the road. Why do you think you guys have been so good at home? And then when looking at them, why do you think the Warriors have struggled at times? Well, I think we have, you know, I think we have a great home court advantage to, to start with that. Um, we really feed off our fans, uh, greatly and, um, and, 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 you know, it, it just gets us going. We, we get to another level. It, it's fun. And um, and I feel like that's the reason for our success. Uh, as far as them, I don't know. I haven't watched them enough on the road to, to, to see that. I haven't really watched them that much all year, to be honest. So, um, yeah. It is the regular season, one of 82. But does it feel a little bit more, a little different just because of the Warriors and every match in the last Yeah, each game is different during the season. Uh, that's just the reality. Um, uh, you know, but. Uh, uh, anytime that you play at the Garden, it's you know it, it's special. So you know it's going to be a, a fun night tomorrow. I'm just curious. You and Golden State are one of two and three point attempts. Every one another, and you're both probably on pace to set the record for most this season. But uh, back in like 2015, when you really started getting the record, did you see like the league coming this way? Where this is like normal? Honestly, I did not. Um, you you would watch Houston a little bit, and you would see them. You know, just taking shots, and you're like, man, all they do is take threes. And, um, uh, but to your point, yeah, I, I did not see it. I did not see it progressing this quickly. And you know, it's every team that's doing it, and that's the way that you know that we're playing basketball now. And um, just, I guess, just the evolution of the game. Yeah, no question. Um, you know, it is a lot of work. Also, um, uh, you know, uh, the people that you have around you, encouraging you, and and understanding in the system what what you need to do. And for me, at the the beginning of my career was uh, those days in Atlanta, 
and um, and I was really being encouraged, you know, to do that, um, and uh, and you know, being able to be consistent and, and work at it and understand that it's so, something completely different. Um, but, uh, but but obviously for me, it has paid off, um, and uh, it's something that you know, in this league, you kind of you know, have to have uh, in order to you know to stay on the floor. Absolutely, absolutely. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.